Welcome to your CorelDRAW X7 tutorials and uh, in this tutorial we are going to go over tools box and uh, I would like to explain each of them and what they are used for. So let's get started. Now the first tool you see there is called Pick Tool. As you can see Pick Tool and Pick Tool lets you select and size, skew and rotate objects. For example, if you have any object like rectangle on the screen, you can be able to do what? You can be able to select it like you selected already. If it's not, you can just click on it to select it. And you can be able to skew it like you can be able to resize it. That's what that means. And uh, you can be able to rotate it. Just click on this place and and you just rotate it from one place to the other. Now the next tool there is called Shape Tool. And Shape Tool lets you to edit. It allows you to edit and shape an object. For example, this rectangle that is here, if you want to change it to a different size, you use it. Uh, you use a, a shape tool. You click on it and you just click on each of these box. Sorry, each of these black thing here. You can just click and hold your mouse and drag it. That means you are resizing it or you are reshaping it, changing it to a different shape. Now the next one is the knife tool, and knife tool lets you cut through an object. For example, if you want to divide this object into two. Just click at a point at the place where you want to divide it. Sorry, this will need to be selected first. Click where you want to divide it. Click on it and then drag it down. Drag it down and click on it again. Is what's divided. So you can just take this one half part. Take this one half part. The next one there is the zoom tool, which enables you to magnify your object. For example, you want to see this object clearly. Just click on the zoom tool to enlarge it for you. Then the next one is uh, the freehand tool. Now, what the freehand tool helps you to do is helps you to draw a line from a point to a point. So just click at a point once and then drag it, drag it to any other point. Then click on it. You've inserted a straight line or a line in your design. Now, the next one there is uh, your rectangle tool. It helps you to draw a rectangle, which is mostly the main layout of any design you want to do. And the next one is your eclipse, which is your rectangle. Click on it and just draw. That is your eclipse. And uh, the next one here is uh, your polygon tool. Under this polygon tool, you have other tools, but we are not going to go over other tools because as we are moving ahead, You'll be able to see what they are used for and the polygon to just help you to draw something like a polygon something like this to your screen and this letter a here helps you to do what to type text into your query draw for example if you click on it and click on any point you want to draw a text uh, sorry type a text you can just start typing this blah 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 and after that you can just carry it from one point to the other Excuse me for that. Then in other two here is a poly uh, parallel dimension tool. I think this one is new in Corridor X7. So what is used for? Just click on it. Draw. The way you draw here is uh, you hold the mouse down and you draw. After releasing it, it will give you this and tell you where you want to draw your dimension. You just apply a little bit and it's giving you the dimension itself. Like you can see, that dimension is 4.25 inches. Now, another one is here uh, drop shadow tool, uh, transparency tool, and a whole lot. Why I'm not explaining them now is because as we are moving on with this tutorial, because I'm going to be picking a project to design. So moving on with this tutorial, I will be able to be explaining each of these those tools one after the other. One important thing I want you to get is this. Anytime you pick any of these tools, apart from the pick tool, anytime you pick any of these tools and you are through with it, or you just, let me say, you pick a rectangle and you draw. After drawing, you are through with it. So the next thing you are going to do is just to go and click on the pick tool. That is called dropping tool. Do you get me? So that your work will not be messed up. Anytime you pick on any of these two, for example, I know most people pick on this zoom tool and forget to drop it. If you click on any of your buttons, it will be increasing. And then you say your work is 
has disappeared in an array. So just pick on the pick tool anytime you pick on any other tool. Thank you for watching. And uh, like I said before, this was a quick tutorial on the tools box. The next tutorial will be hot. And I don't know what I'm going to be teaching, but I know it will be hot. So don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you there.